Dome everyone, it's Shiny, and today I would like to review a mod called the Bountiful Bubbles mod, which is the mod that has been inspired by Terraria with the new items it has added. So, uh, before this video starts, if you are interested in more content like these where I review different mods, or if you're interested in a modern Minecraft series, which at the current time I am doing Digimobs, uh, please subscribe, it would really mean a lot to me. And if you can even like this video, uh, <laughs> that means really a lot to me and I really appreciate it. But okay, we shouldn't waste too much time here, so let's get right into the mod. So, for in order for this mod to work, you need to also install this mod called the Curious API mod. What that does is basically, if you check your inventory, there's this new button in your avatar section. And if you click it, you can see that you have a new GUI where you can put in different sorts of accessories depending on the slot. For example, the back, body, charm, hands, head, necklace, and two ring slots. So, let's get into the items. So these are the items currently available in the mod. So, starting from top left, so the water candle. So this one hasn't been implemented yet, but if you have played Terraria, you have probably seen this before. So, it already says, and the subtitles, so it increases nearby monster spawn rates. So depending on when you're watching this, it might already be added. So yeah, that's a cool new item. Next one is the balloon. So this one, it increases your jump height and decreases fall damage. So we open our GUI and then we can place it anywhere from the slide assist. So either the charm, ring, necklace, or body, it doesn't matter. And now that we have uh, equipped it, our jump has slightly increased. So now we can jump chi box high. That's pretty cool. And at the same time, let's go into survival. Our fall damage has been neglected, neglected by a bit. So you're supposed to take more damage than that. Okay. Let's go into the next item. The next item, item we got is Ring of Overclocking. So this one it grants immunity to slowness and it makes you slightly faster, which is uh, 7%. So we wear it. As you can see, the FOB slightly zoomed out a bit more, which indicates that our speed has increased. And what it means by immunity to slowness is it's, it literally is what it means. So, for example, if you get um, slowness 4 potion right here, we try to put it on us. That's resistance. Am I? Am I? Am I? Oh, no, no. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Never mind. So, yeah, I got the resistance effect, but the slowness didn't get onto me. So yeah, very very strong. Okay, let's take it out. Next item we got is the Shulker Heart, which grants immunity to levitation. So if you guys know, if you ever went to the end and you fought the Shulkers, when they shoot stuff at you, they like kind of get you trapped into the air and then you, you just can't move. But if you have this slot like equipped, you don't have to worry about that anymore. And it can also be used to brew potions of flight, which is this thing, potion of flight. So it's exactly what it is, as the name suggests. You drink it, and then even if you're in survival mode, you can fly. So this will probably be very useful if you want to build something or if you want to transport somewhere very far away. Yep. And of course, you take non fall damage either. Alright, so let's move on to the next item, which is the Ring of Free Action. So this one is made by combining both the Shulker Heart and the Ring of Overclocking. So it just has the same effects, but you only need, you only use one slot. And also, uh, it has free movement towards Cobweb. What it means by that is I'll showcase to you right now. So we got four Cobweb. You place it down right here, and then usually you would get stuck. But if you have this equipped, you can just go through Cobwebs. So. Going through the mineshaft would be much much easier now. You don't have to worry about, you know, breaking all those strings before you get towards the cave spider spawner. Okay. So, the next item we got is the forbidden fruit. So this one just grants immunity to hunger status effect and nausea, so we don't really need to explain too much. Vitamins is weakness and mining fatigue. Pung glasses is blindness. And Vizuar is for poison. The next one we got is Ender Dragon Scale. So I think by now you have been wondering where do I get these items or how do I craft it? 
So some items do have crafting recipes, but most of the time you find these items in dungeons or treasure chests. So yeah, basically go out, go and explore this world and then eventually you'll find some of the items. So in the dragon scale, once you found it, you gotta make this thing called the cracked black dragon scale, which is made through one, two, three, four, five, seven spectral silt. A black die and the Ender Dragon skill in the middle. Okay, what is Spectral Silt? What Spectral Silt is, is if you place any of the items that you found in Dungeon or a block of diamond or block of emerald, you can get this thing called the Spectral Silt. And you have to combine the item with the Disintegration Tablet, tablet which is made through four Nether Quartz, four Blaze Powder, and one Redstone Dust. Okay, if you just explore in the Nether, uh, you can easily craft this thing and then using this you can get yeah, spectral salt and then through spectral salt you can craft some of these items like the dragon scale broken heart lucky horseshoes and etc etc okay yeah, these three items so once you got the cracked black dragon scale you combine that with a normal ender dragon scale with a nether star and then you get the black dragon scale which grants immunity to withering so Boss fights against the Wither or just Wither Skeleton farming is going to become much, much easier. And on top of that, you can combine the Bizarre and the Black Dragon Scale to make it a mixed color Dragon Scale. So, just like that. Oh, by the way, you use the Anvil to <laughs> combine these stuff. Which grants you immunity to both Poison and Withering and uses only one slot up. So yeah, very useful. Next one is the Ankh Charm, which is made through four Golden Blocks, the mixed color Dragon Scale, Vitamins or Vitamins, uh, Ring of Free Action, Sunglasses, and the Forbidden Fruit. So a very very strong charm. And then, now we got the Obsidian Skull. So, this one can be made for four Obsidian Skull and one of the heads, whichever is fine. Two Blaze Powder and two Magma Cream. Or you can just find it in Dungeon Chest. So yeah, we can try this out. Let's get a Lava Bucket. So, how this works is... We place that in the lava, right? So the thing is, if you have it equipped, you will still take damage if you're inside lava, but if you get out, the burn itself does no damage. So yeah, it's going to be slightly useful in Nether since uh, if you're in fire, if you just manage to escape from the lava pool, uh, you're gonna live. Okay, I am getting hungry, so let's get like a golden carrot. Okay. So the next item we got is the Cobalt Shield, the Obsidian Shield, and the Ankh Shield. So the Cobalt Shield, you can make it with Block Diamond Shield and then 7 Spectral Silt. So you can use it as a normal shield, or you can equip it. Yeah, whichever one uh, you prefer, it works. And then here, we got the Obsidian Shield, which is made by combining the Obsidian Skull and the Cobalt Shield. But the Cobalt Shield, it, it just it means you to knock back. So yeah, in Obsidian, it's like you have the fire resistance and the knockback resistance. And lastly, we got the Ankh Shield, which you combine the Obsidian Shield with the Ankh Charm. And what this does is it's, it keeps the fire resistance, it keeps the knockback resistance, and on top of that, it adds all the immunity towards the negative effects that the Ankh Charm gave to you. So yeah, pretty cool. I think designs itself are also very, very sick. Okay, let's put this back. Next, we got the Magic Mirror and the Wormhole Mirror. So the Wormhole Mirror, uh, it's also the same with these two potions. So if you have played Terraria, you would know these items. Wormhole, it allows you to TP to other players, but, or uh, it sends you to the home, just like the Magic Mirror. Okay, don't, don't ask why my bed is in such a dangerous location. <laughs> But same goes with the potion, we drink it, we just TP back. Wormhole, the potion doesn't work since uh, for the potion, it only works the feature of uh, TPing to someone else. But the mirror, it works both as um, TPing to your home or TPing to your player. And you can make it by combining the Ender Dragon Scale, Magic Mirror, 3 Wormhole potions, and 4 Obsidian. So yeah, very useful item. Okay, I need to get back to my home. Just over here, never my home, just my face. Wait! Alright! Let's go for the next item. Next we got the Lucky Horseshoe which negates fall damage. So we equip that and then no matter how far, I mean how high the place is, 
We fall down, we take no damage. So yeah, if you see a ravine, you can just drop down and start mining. Without any worry about doing MLG water pockets or stuff like that. Okay, next one is the Sin Pendant. So this one you gotta craft with 7 Spectral Assault, String and an Iron Ingot. And then just having the Pendant itself doesn't do anything. You have to combine it with several items. So the first one we got is a cake and a golden apple, which we get the Gluttony Pendant, which grants sinful buff damage and armor when you eat something. So what that means is, so uh, let's quickly equip it like that. And we're gonna eat a golden carrot. We get this thing called the Sinful Tea Buff, which is pretty much you are, you gain resistance and strength and yeah, you just become buff and strong. <laughs> And the same goes for the other pendants. Uh, this one, it grants you the sinful effect when you are at full health. I can show it just like that. Right now we're at full health, so we have this sinful effect going on forever. And the last one is the wrath pendant, which when you deal a critical hit, so when you jump and then attack, you deal, I mean, you get the sinful effect. So oh, that is pretty damn interesting. Okay. Now we got the broken heart and the uh, Silactory charm, I'm guessing? I'm not too sure how to pronounce it, but... Okay, so the broken heart. Lethal damage destroys empty heart containers instead. And sleep regenerates heart containers. What does that mean? So, we equip this. And when we take damage from the lava... You can see... Our black hearts, or the black heart containers, start taking damage instead of red hearts. So, in a way, you can think that you have 20 HP overall instead of 10. And you just have to sleep, and it's gonna recover. Okay, I need bowling carrots. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So, the next item. Oh, yeah. So, the Silectory Charm. When equipped, it teleports you to your spawn point upon taking lethal damage. So, what it means by is when you take the hit that was supposed to kill you. Instead of dying, you are actually going to get TP to your home. And, it, but however, it does not work in situations where the magic barrier doesn't work, so either it's like the place is crowded and stuff like that. It also functions as a broken heart when it equipped, and when you right click it and then like hold it, uh, you can also use it as a magic mirror alternative, but it deals damage. So, uh, you can craft this thing through Wither Skeleton Skull, Diamond, Broken Heart, and the Magic Mirror. It's a very useful item, has multiple functions. Alright, next item we got is our Cross Necklace. So this one, it increases length of invincibility. What that means is... Okay, hopefully I don't die. When we go into lava, as you guys saw, before we took our next damage, we have a slight invincibility frame second, so... You basically, when you are peeping and stuff, you will never get comboed because they won't be able to hit you after landing their first hit at, without waiting like a few seconds. I guess one second. So yeah. Lastly, we got the three gloves. So the way to use these gloves are actually quite simple. Uh, the two swords. You see this cooldown thing? How the weapon rises? So... When you have this equipped, just like that, the cooldown is gone. So yeah, I'm guessing that's that's what it means. <laughs> you can sw sw switch the items uh, on the go. However, the attack cooldown itself is still there, so it's not like it's back to the old PvP or anything like that. Okay, let's see items. Iron Claw Gauntlet and Diamond Claw Gauntlet. So these ones, you can make it without having the Spectral Stealth. So, these items are basically like multi-usage uh, tools. So the diamond one is better than the iron one. So, this can be used as an axe. Pretty good speed. A shovel. Or stone, uh, which should be like down here. Yep. So yeah, if you are really lazy to swap, swap between all the items uh, like shovel, pickaxes, and hoes and axes and stuff. If you have this diamond clawed gauntlet, you'd never have to worry again. So, that was all it for today's mod review. So if you guys once again enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And 
if there's any mods that you want me to you want me to personally review, please uh, write it down in the comments below. Depending on how much time I have, I'll try and look at it and maybe review or not. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Yeah, it really depends on my schedule. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video and see you guys next time. Bye bye, Jenny.